You are not the only person on your block with a lawn. And chances are good your lawn doesn't stick out enough to turn any heads. This technique is going to turn heads faster than you can imagine. But it won't be long lasting for the vast majority of people. Kind of like a one trick pony that's just fun to experiment with. And wow the neighbors. What I'm doing today to my lawn, just to illustrate my point, is doing a fall overseed of annual ryegrass, one of the cheapest grass types of them all. It's got bad cold weather tolerance, and it's got bad hot weather tolerance. So it's only gonna make your lawn look insanely good in the mid-fall and the mid-spring, unless you live in an area that never freezes throughout the winter. Where I live, this lawn's gonna look crazy green, thick and lush, all winter long. This gives me plenty of time to plan for my spring flush and to push my perennial turf type for the coming summer season. Now for northern climates that freeze and deal with snow, this is just a great way to fill in gaps in a fall lawn so that you have less mud to deal with over the winter. You know, when everything finally dies or goes dormant. All right, now when you purchase this stuff in bulk, you can usually get annual ryegrass seed for about $2.50 per pound or so. Depends on the brand that you buy. This seems like a no-brainer to me, especially if you got a southern lawn that you want to stay green over winter, or you got a thin northern lawn that you don't want a whole bunch of muddy spots showing throughout the course of the winter season, you know, the colder months. All right, so check this out. I take the seed that I need, which is roughly five pounds of annual ryegrass per every thousand square feet. For me, I'm using five pounds, and I soak that seed in a bucket of warm water slightly above room temperature. I'm only gonna do this for about three to six hours. For me, in my case, it's about five, cause that's, I don't know, that's just the time that I've got today. So after that, I'm just gonna strain the seed through uh, just a regular old colander. Uh, of course, it's gotta be fine enough mesh so the seed itself doesn't go through, just the water. Then I'm gonna mix it together with something dry that's not like fast release nitrogen. You could use any sort of fertilizer like an alfalfa meal or a soybean meal. Or in this case, what I'm gonna be doing is literally just mixing it together with a little bit of peat moss, dry peat moss. Point here is it needs to be dry to absorb a little bit of that excess water that's sitting on the surface of the seed. We don't wanna dry the seed out, but it can't be like crazy wet, otherwise we can't spread it over the lawn very easily. Once it's all mixed together in my gigantic bucket, I'm just gonna spread it over the lawn, I'm gonna get it as even as I possibly can, and then enter into a regular uh, grass seed germinating watering schedule. This is your normal run of the mill. Water it a few times a day, every single day until it starts sprouting and then continue watering it for a few days thereafter. The crazy thing about annual rye is that it germinates so darn fast. Usually with annual rye that's been primed in warm water the way that I did right here, it only takes about three to four days until it germinates and starts putting up baby grass sprouts. And seriously, by day seven, the lawn actually looks thick. It's like crazy thick, it's like magic. Now, if your rye does indeed die off in freezing winter weather, then you're gonna have dead roots in place that are gonna help with erosion control and dead leaf material, the actual grass blades themselves, sitting above the mud, keeping your lawn cleaner through the winter. And if your climate never freezes, like my own, you're gonna have a great looking green lawn all winter long until the temperatures get up into the upper 80s, somewhere around mid-spring, and that annual rye starts dying off on its own naturally. This is literally what we want. We don't want a perpetual lawn of annual rye. We just want that annual rye to help our lawn look its best throughout the course of the year. Winter is a hard time on grass and lawns, and the annual rye can help. Now, I'm in love with this technique for just about everybody, and it's just about as simple as it could possibly get. Anyone with any level of experience could probably get this done in about a day's time. So you can just be a watcher and watch me and see my results here on the screen, or you can give it a try for yourself. Now, I guarantee you that if you do this, your neighbors are literally going to ask what on earth you did, even if the results are short-lived. Even if your neighbors have never mentioned your grass before, anytime someone's lawn transforms almost overnight, they start making mention of it and they're gonna remember it for a long time to come. In the coming weeks, this lawn is really gonna thicken out. It's gonna look amazing, but it's not gonna last a full season. So I'm gonna have to do some new things to the lawn next year, more permanent things. 
in your own lawn if you don't know where exactly to start go into the description i have an email series for those of you who want to have a better lawn but don't really know where to start also have videos having to do with every major season of the year you could watch any of those lastly up here in the corner is a video to my beginner friendly lawn tips there's eight significant tips in that video they will be applicable to 99 percent of you go ahead and watch that next